I'm Kimberly Van Dicho. I'm a cardiac nurse here in New York City. I'm from the Philippines. And I moved from London to the U.S. in January 2020. That was the onset of COVID-19, if you guys can remember. I was in Charleston, South Carolina for an entire year. I binge-watched Gossip Girl and Friends. This show really made me want to move here. If there wasn't COVID, you would probably be living with roommates who obviously save and not like spend all of my salary certain. You'll see the prices, they're all crazy low. Like it's 30% off, no broker's fee. So I moved to New York April of this year. I really wanted to snag a deal in the Upper East Side. I told myself, you know, when I get that apartment, I'll really make it a happy place for me. It's a very subtle touch. If you're not a fan of the show, you really won't know what team I'm trying to put into the space. In Gossip Girl, you see the characters, they live in a hotel suite. You see friends, you know, apartment they like, it's a walk-up unit. My apartment is really like apartment and friends, but I tried to keep that Gossip Girl hotel vibe. That show is very relatable. It's the time of your life when you're miles away from home. Really, your friends or your family. And that's what that show is about. I was a volunteer nurse for two years and I was juggling volunteer nursing with BPO because, you know, I wasn't getting paid as a nurse in the Philippines. I just needed an experience to work overseas. After that, I moved to London. Unfortunately, I moved here at the onset of the pandemic. New York has always been very resilient. Come 9-11, I mean, they've been through a lot of stuff, but they've always been able to like rise back. And that's the kind of people that the city draws, those people who are resilient and like willing to risk it. COVID is here to stay. But at the same time, people are really trying to bring the city back to life. And I'm, I think I'm very lucky that I came during this time.